Before setting up for work, it's important to read the tool operator's manual and obtain OSHA required training prior to using any powder actuated tool. When installing powder actuated deck fasteners, it is important for the deck to be clamped tightly to the base material and the installed fasteners to have a nail head standoff within the specified range. Failure to properly set the tool, fastener, and cartridge prior to starting work can decrease fastening quality consistency. The following steps should be followed to achieve proper setup of the tool. Cartridge colors available for Hilti decking tools are, in order of increasing power, yellow, blue, red, and black. In addition, all Hilti decking tools come equipped with power adjustment capability. The settings on the power regulation dials range from 1 being the lowest power setting to 4 being the highest. The information shown in the deck fastening training guide will guide you on where to start based on your fastener selection and base material thickness. Insert fasteners into the magazine, making sure the magazine is completely full. Remember, the DX860 HSN only accepts HSN24 fasteners. The DX860 ENP only accepts ENP fasteners. Next, load the cartridges. This is the same process on both versions of the DX860. Push the strip into the cartridge magazine on the opposite side of the fastener magazine. Keep pushing the cartridge strip down until the edge is just above the cartridge magazine. Before making the first fastening, ensure the operator and all bystanders are all wearing proper safety eyewear and ear protection. With the tool fully loaded, compress the tool completely at the location of the base steel, keeping it perpendicular to the surface and pull the trigger to make a fastening. Check the standoff of the fastening using the power adjustment card. The plus and minus signs on the card will help you determine how the power regulation dial and or cartridge power level needs to be adjusted. The power regulation knob on both DX860 tools can increase or decrease the applied strength of the cartridge. Adjust the level up or down as indicated on the power regulation card if needed, based on the test fastener standoff. If the fastener is driven too deep, that is, too low of a nail head standoff, with the power regulation dial set at 1, move to the next lowest cartridge power level. Similarly, if nail standoff is too high at the 4 setting, move to the next higher cartridge power level. Make another couple of fastenings and check with the power regulation card to make sure the settings are consistent. Note that for optimum performance of the tool, regulate the power as close as you can to the center of the range as indicated on the power regulation card. This will also help account for single layer attachments, as well as up to four layer attachments, all while staying within the proper standoff range. With the tool properly set up, there should be a consistent fastening across the entire deck. Be sure to check this periodically throughout the installation as job site conditions can change. Now that the tool is set up, the next step is to make sure the installer knows where to make the fastenings. Taking the time to mark the bar joist top cord or structural steel will greatly help eliminate potential issues throughout the deck installation. Using a permanent marker, paint pen, or wax pencil, mark the center of each top cord for joist installations or the center of each beam for structural steel applications on the top flute. Be sure to mark this on each deck sheet as the base steel can twist or turn, especially over long spans. Make a couple of fastenings in each sheet to prevent the sheets from moving after the base steel has been marked. Snapping chalk lines is not recommended as many joists are not straight. Damage can occur if the operator misses the base steel. Missing can also waste fasteners, increase material cost, and reduce the time between needed repairs. For more information about Hilti decking systems, visit Hilti online, contact your local account manager or Hilti customer service.